Hi everyone, this is Melissa from Cute Nail Art, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do these really cool cat eyes for Halloween. To get this look, you will need polishes in black, yellow, and green. So we're going to start by using a peel-off to protect our skin with the ombre. And I'm using Elmer's glue that I've poured into an old cleaned out nail polish bottle, but you can use a latex peel-off too. What I do is I brush the uh, glue or the peel off onto my skin around the nail and try not to touch your nail because that can actually ruin your design. But just um, go high enough to where no matter how you use the sponge it's going to protect all of your skin. I usually go halfway around my finger and then maybe up to the first knuckle. And you're only going to do this on your index finger and your ring finger because those are the only ones we're ombre today. Now you're going to start off with a base coat to protect your natural nails from staining and damage from the polish and to make your nail polish stick better. Then you're going to paint your index finger and your ring finger with a solid coat of yellow. If you get any on your cuticles, you can wipe it off with a little bit of acetone. Now you're going to take a makeup sponge and this is how we're going to do the ombre. You should wet your sponge first and then paint a stripe of yellow. Be generous with the amount of polish that you use. You should be able to see polish on the outside of the sponge and it shouldn't all be soaked in, but it shouldn't be dripping off the sponge either. Then you're gonna paint green stripes on both sides of the yellow stripe. Again, be just as generous with this. Take your sponge so that the stripes are lengthwise on your nail and you're going to blot and dab those colors onto your ring and index finger. Move around a little bit and make sure you get it on the whole nail. It should be faded, so there should be yellow in the center and then green on the sides like this. If it looks a little splotchy, go back and repaint the sponge and do it one more time after you let it dry for a few minutes. Do the same thing on your ring finger. Now we're going to go in with a detail brush and black paint and we're going to start working on the lids and the pupil of the cat's eye. So you paint a slant across the top of your nail. The slant should start about halfway up your nail and it should end in the upper corner of your nail near the cuticle. Go ahead and trace the rest of the area of your nail with the black polish so that it's very close to your cuticle and you're covering up the yellow and green at the top. Now we're going to go down the sides of the nail and basically line the whole outside of the nail with black. It's time to work on the pupil now, the long cat pupil. So take your detail brush and just make a long point coming down from the top lid. It should be a little wider at the top and pointy at the bottom. Do the same on your ring finger, but make the eyelid slant in the opposite direction. Now paint the rest of your nails solid black. Again, you might need two coats for opacity. And then slowly peel the glue off from your ombre. You can see how it just takes all the mess off of your skin. Very easy cleanup and you won't have to be rubbing acetone all over your skin because that can really dry you out. Now go over everything with a nice fast dry top coat to level your design out and make it nice and shiny. It also protects it from chipping and peeling. You can see how the top coat here sort of smooths out that ombre of yellow and green. Makes it look more blended. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching. Have a great Halloween.